Diagnostics for code P0449. This is one of those combination problems. The basic code is the EVAP vent solenoid malfunction. Not clearly stating it. What we found is sometimes it's a result of a restriction in the canister or the vent seal solenoid. So we're going to use a flow meter to go out and check for normal flow with the vent open and then close it to make sure it's working. The vent seal solenoid has two functions. One, to open and have no restriction or little restriction to normal purge. Stay out of the way of purge. Then we go into the specialized test mode to close up and seal the system. And we can verify this action of restriction with a scan tool on a test drive. And then we also have a possibility the control circuit may be open, causing control voltage to be high. That also shows up occasionally. So we've got several things to check for. We'll start by looking at flow. We're going to use a flow meter. We recommend using whatever combination works best for you and your equipment. But this is what we recommend. Zero duty cycle, solenoid off. We should see full flow on the left. When we close it, we should go to the bottom. So we should be able to open and seal it, move it back and forth, verify that it opens and seals properly. Let's eliminate the malfunction because it's questionable what it is. The other side of the malfunction is we can go and look at this restriction. Let's look at this restriction. We've gone on a test drive. We're looking at the purge duty cycle on the bottom. It's making a step change. When purge changes, we do not want to see large changes in fuel tank pressure voltage. Voltage will go up in this case if we have any fuel tank pressure to speak of. If we're creating a vacuum, it's going to go up. So when we change vacuum applied to the system, we don't want to see large changes in the fuel tank pressure for a normal purge. Now, if we we're in test mode, we'd want to see this number to go up. But this is looking at it in normal purge. So this is your simple, quick, and easy test. It's very valid, works well. But the other half of this is we've got to find out if it does change, why not? The other half of this problem is the voltage should be battery voltage with a vent de-energized and be under one volt since energized. Remember, one of our problems says sometimes it does not drop to below one volt. So we need to check this to make sure that we have good contact. Check for an open circuit if it doesn't go down. It's a malfunctioning vent solenoid, but for a reason we should find with other codes. Here's our restriction problem. It can cause restriction that makes vehicles hard to refuel. That is going to be your main thing. If you have this problem right here, and it is restricting, the customer is going to complain about the pump at the, at the filling station keeps kicking off because if we get back pressure because of all this dirt, 